out, I spent one entire summer trying to hang out on the other side of the park, get to know some other trees, and it just felt weird and wrong. And a homeless guy threw a Gatorade bottle full of pee at me, and I took that as a sign that I was on the wrong side of the park, and that I should come back to the vagina tree. And I think it just involved it being the closest place with the tenth shade to the turkey's nest. And I remember going to sleep and not being woken up by the hurricane like I thought that I would be. Uh, but I was woken up by a series of text messages from people, all different people who didn't know each other, who were like, I'm so sorry about the vagina tree. And if the first time it happened, I was like, hilarious joke, of course people would think to tell me that the vagina tree blew over, even though the hurricane didn't even really happen. And then the more text messages I got about it, I finally went on Facebook and there were just devastating photos. So what happens next? I don't know. You know, I've been thinking about making the shift to McGalric Park because, I mean, this is kind of a shitty park. Any last thoughts on the vagina tree? Well, I am glad that when she went, she took out a phallus because that lamppost was in the street for like a week. That's my last thought. <laughs>